Picture this. It's 1953, and Iran is experiencing a significant political shift. The country's democratically elected Prime Minister Mohammad Mossadegh is overthrown in a coup orchestrated by the United States and Britain, famously known as Operation Ajax. Why, you may ask? Mossadegh had nationalized Iran's oil industry, previously controlled by the British, and this didn't sit well with Western powers. The coup marked a turning point in Iran's history and its relationship with the United States. With Mossadegh out of the picture, the U.S. supported the return of Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi to the throne, a move seen by many Iranians as an affront to their national sovereignty. Under the Shah's rule, Iran underwent a rapid modernization process adopting Western-style reforms, but these changes weren't universally welcomed. Many Iranians were discontented with the Shah's autocratic rule, his suppression of political dissent and the perceived erosion of Iranian culture in favor of Westernization. This discontent culminated in the 1979 Iranian Revolution, which saw the Shah overthrown and the establishment of an Islamic Republic. The revolution was a direct rejection of the Shah's pro-Western policies and marked a dramatic shift in Iran's international relations, particularly with the United States. The U.S. for its part continued to support the Shah during his reign, providing him with military aid and economic support. This backing, coupled with the U.S.'s role in the 1953 coup, fueled a deep-seated resentment among many Iranians towards America. And so, the seeds of discontent were sown, setting the stage for decades of tense relations between Iran and the USA. The coup's aftermath was far from peaceful with the Shah's regime triggering widespread opposition. The Shah's reign was characterized by a blend of modernization and autocracy, a cocktail that proved unpalatable to many Iranians. His White Revolution, an ambitious series of reforms seeking to modernize and westernize Iran, was met with a backlash from conservative elements within society, notably the clergy. Under the Shah, Iran's secret police, Savak, grew notorious for its brutal tactics and widespread surveillance. Dissent was suppressed and human rights abuses were rampant. This oppressive climate led to the brewing of discontent across the country, culminating in the Islamic Revolution of 1979. This revolution, led by Ayatollah Khomeini, was a seismic event that replaced the monarchy with an Islamic Republic, a theocratic regime that still rules Iran today. Now let's transition to the Iran-Iraq War. In the wake of the Islamic Revolution, Iraq, under the leadership of Saddam Hussein, saw an opportunity to assert its dominance in the region and launched an invasion into Iran in 1980. The war that ensued was long and bloody, resulting in hundreds of thousands of casualties on both sides. The USA, ever the strategic player, supported Iraq during this conflict. Despite Saddam Hussein's well-documented brutality, the USA saw him as a bulwark against the spread of Iran's Islamic Revolution. The USA provided Iraq with economic aid, diplomatic backing, and even intelligence information, all aimed at weakening Iran. This support was not lost on the Iranians. The USA, they felt, was once again meddling in their affairs, siding with their enemies and undermining their sovereignty. The Iran-Iraq War further deepened the chasm between Iran and the USA, a rift that continues to shape their relationship today. Iran's relationship with the USA isn't just about past grievances, it's also about ongoing perceived interferences. To truly grasp the depth of this animosity, we have to delve into three main arenas, U.S. support for Israel, economic sanctions, and the U.S. military presence in the Middle East. Let's start with the U.S. support for Israel. This issue is a significant thorn in the side of Iran-U.S. relations. You see, Iran has long championed the cause of the Palestinians and has consistently opposed the Israeli state. The U.S., on the other hand, has been Israel's staunchest ally, providing it with substantial economic, military, and diplomatic support. This divergence in stances has fueled anti-American sentiments in Iran and has become a rallying cry for those critical of the U.S. policies in the region. Next up, we have the economic sanctions. The U.S. has imposed a series of sanctions on Iran over the years, targeting its economy and crippling its growth. These sanctions have had a devastating impact on the Iranian people, limiting their access to essential goods and services and plunging many into poverty. The U.S. argues that these sanctions are necessary to curb Iran's nuclear ambitions and its alleged support for terrorism. But in the eyes of many Iranians, these sanctions are seen as a form of economic warfare, unjustly punishing the Iranian people and fueling resentment against the U.S. Finally, there's the U.S. military presence in the Middle East. The U.S. has a significant military footprint in the region, 
with bases in several Middle Eastern countries. This military presence coupled with U.S. interventions in countries like Iraq and Afghanistan is perceived by Iran as a threat to its sovereignty and a tool for American hegemony. The U.S. maintains that its presence in the region is necessary for maintaining stability and countering terrorism, but for Iran this is seen as an encroachment and a cause for concern. These perceived interferences have only served to fan the flames of resentment against the USA. They've deepened the divide and made the prospect of reconciliation seem more distant than ever. But understanding these issues is the first step towards finding a common ground and perhaps a path towards de-escalation. Let's shift our focus to a more recent point of contention between Iran and the USA, the nuclear deal. This is a topic that has been making headlines for the past few years and has significantly influenced the dynamics between the two nations. Iran's pursuit of nuclear technology dates back to the mid-20th century. Initially, under the auspices of a peaceful energy program, it has been viewed with suspicion by the international community, particularly the United States. This suspicion stems from concerns about the possible military applications of such technology, specifically the development of nuclear weapons. In an attempt to curb Iran's nuclear ambitions, the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action or JCPOA was agreed upon in 2015. This agreement involving Iran, the USA and several other global powers, was designed to limit Iran's nuclear program in return for the lifting of economic sanctions. It was seen as a significant diplomatic achievement, providing a pathway to potentially ease the long-standing tensions between Iran and the USA. However, the deal was not without its critics. Many in the United States, including then-presidential candidate Donald Trump, argued that it was too lenient on Iran, in 2018, under President Trump's administration, the USA unilaterally withdrew from the JCPOA, reimposing sanctions on Iran. This move was met with widespread international criticism and it marked a significant setback in Iran-US relations. The US withdrawal from the deal and the subsequent imposition of sanctions have had a profound impact on Iran's economy and its people. It has also led to a resurgence in Iran's nuclear activities, further escalating tensions in the region. The controversy surrounding the nuclear deal is a clear demonstration of the deep-seated mistrust and conflicting interests that continue to characterize Iran-US relations. It shows how even well-intentioned diplomatic efforts can be undermined by political changes and deep-rooted animosities. The nuclear deal's controversy adds another layer of complexity to the already fraught Iran-USA relationship. Fast forward to the present day and the animosity between Iran and the USA remains as palpable as ever. One cannot ignore the seismic event of early 2020 when Qasem Soleimani, the commander of Iran's Quds Force, was assassinated in a U.S. drone strike. This incident sent shockwaves around the world, stoking fears of a potential war. The aftermath was fraught with high tensions and retaliatory actions, including Iran launching missile attacks on U.S. bases in Iraq. In the backdrop of these geopolitical shifts, the region continues to simmer with tensions, the U.S.'s unwavering support for Israel, Iran's arch-nemesis, only adds fuel to the fire. Moreover, the USA's military presence in the Middle East is perceived as a direct threat to Iran's sovereignty, escalating the animosity. This discord has far-reaching effects on global politics, influencing alliances and shaping international relations. The Iran-USA feud isn't just a bilateral issue. It's a global concern that impacts peace, stability, and security far beyond their borders. Let's take a step back and reflect on what we've discussed. We delved into the historical context from Operation Ajax in 1953 to the Iran-Iraq War. We explored perceived U.S. interference from economic sanctions to military presence in the Middle East. We touched upon the controversy surrounding the nuclear deal and the ideological clash between Islamic Republic values and Western norms. Understanding the historical context of Iran-USA relations is crucial in making sense of their current dynamics. It's a complex narrative but one that underscores the importance of dialogue and understanding in navigating international relationships.